Hey guys, so this is the penultimate day. Tomorrow we set off early doors in the morning Mega to start. Early. Yeah, way too early to start hiking our Camino. It's going to be um, starting in St. Jean Pied de Port and going all the way through to Santiago. It's going to be two hardcore days of travelling to get there, but I reckon it's going to be worth it. And we wanted to do a few like video diaries along the way for friends and family so they can see that we're safe. And for any of you random chaps who like hang around in um, YouTube watching strange videos of people hiking. And this is for you. But um, yeah, this is the first video. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the kit that we're taking and um, show you how we've got everything set up. So um, I'm going to go first. I'll show you my kit. And then my beautiful girl here will go over it all for you. Well, over hers for you. No. <laughs> First things first is the rucksack, and this is an Osprey Talon 44, absolute beast of a rucksack, super light, really versatile, so there's loads of loops for me to lash stuff on the outside if I want to, an exceptional amount of space on the inside, so I'm going to go through and break down all the items I've got in here. So we'll start on the outside, and the obvious thing is, this is a major point of contention. Instead of taking waterproof, because I don't like taking um, a waterproof jacket, especially in hot weather, because it just feels really cloudy and sweaty inside it. So instead, it's going to be super airy. Bit of an umbrella! How sick is that, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, it'll be a nice alternative to the usual, so it'll be interesting to see how it works. That's a blunt umbrella, and it's not a typical trekking umbrella, but it is more of a premium city umbrella. Uh, my girlfriend's got an umbrella as well, and she'll so, uh, show you that. I think that was a little bit better. Uh, for trekking poles, I've got the MSR Sherlock Flight 3. Really good. Things I like about these is pull them out, lock them into place, then you've got press studs to bring them back in again. It makes it really easy. Um, trekking poles, great for walking with, but these are also going to be the ridge poles for me, tents. So, got nothing in the top bag, mainly because as we're going through um, the villages and whatnot, I want to get, uh, grab some supplies. No mess with that, I'm just topping it up, sling stuff in the top. I'm pretty sure that as I'm hiking, a few favourites will end up in the top there, but for now, keeping it nice and empty. Right, in the top there, all travel documents. Um, when we're doing the Camino, we're going to have the Camino credentials in there, so again, really easy access so we can get to it, hand them out as we need to. Into the main body of the bag. On the top, like on the top, I wanted stuff that I could get to really quickly. So if we stop, I want to get my boots off, slip into my flip flops, let my feet air out a bit. If it gets a bit chilly, I've got just a simple rab body warmer in there, so I can sling on, keep myself nice and cool, uh, nice and warm. And instead of a pack towel, I'm taking a shenek. Now these things are amazing. This is going to be my towel. It's going to be a scarf. It's going to keep the sun off me. And when I get a bit sweaty out there, oh, that feels good. It's going to be a nice little sweat rack. Also, on the top, because when I stop, it's nice to just do yourself a brew or something. So, we've got jet boiled salt titanium, um, really lightweight, really efficient with the gas as well. So, I expect one milligram of gas to last in the full Camino. So, that's going to be really useful. Also, when we're camping out, that'd be really good to do some food on. Next thing, and always keep this near the top as well, this is the first aid kit. Um, now, my girl's got some allergies, um, so I've got an EpiPen in there, she's also asthmatic, so we've got um, an extra inhaler in there for her. And I basically, I sat down for a day and thought of all the things that could just go wrong, and then factored it into here. So we've got a metric foot ton of um, plasters, foot care, anything you'd like to deal with blisters, all the medication we could ever need, um, even like a few repair items and emergency fire starting, because who knows, right? But yeah, anything that we could be scared about, covered in that so it's a nice little peace of mind item. Next up, toiletries, usual improvements. I don't really need to tell you about toothpaste and stuff, we all carry them and uh, it's all in there, one place, dead easy to get to. This is a nice little pouch, this is like all my toys and just little things that I didn't want rattling around inside the bag but just really useful things to carry with me. So sunglasses are in there, head torch, <laughs> This is a nice little one. It's so nice when you like stop off for the night and there's people with like sort of instruments. I felt jealous last time I went out, so this time. <laughs> little harmonica just to keep me entertained more than anything. I'm bloody useless with it, but I like it. EU power plug because I forgot to take one on my last Camino and it was a pain trying to find one. Actually, don't need that. That's an Osprey Rain cover and I don't think we're going to need it in the slightest. 
This is a good one though. This is a battery pack or a power bank, as they're sometimes called. Easy ACC. It's one thousand, sorry, ten thousand milliamps. So that will charge an iPhone four times, maybe even five times. And it means that when we stop off in any of the beautiful towns, villages, or cities we come across, instead of putting the iPhone on charge and sitting and waiting for it to charge, or taking the chance of like going out and leaving it there, I can just put this on charge. This costs twenty five pounds. I'm not bothered if it gets pinched, but. It means that we're not waiting around, we can actually enjoy being out instead of waiting for our devices to charge. Little water purifier. I did need to purify water last time I was out there because I did take water from a few streams, so got the water purifier there just in case. And then a little pocket trowel because it's quite often you do need to go to potty in the woods, so uh, that makes life a little bit easier. <laughs> right then, next thing out, here we go. This is the Thermares Neoair X Lite. It's one of the best sleeping pads I've ever had. It's super comfortable. In there as well, I've got the Mammoth inflatable pillow, and it weighs nothing. Really like to trek with, and it just gives me maximum amount of comfort. Clothing wise, right then, I'm going to be wearing a long sleeve trekking shirt and long pants. In here, I've got another long sleeve trekking um, shirt, a pair of shorts, a pair of swim shorts. A change of socks and underwear, a couple of buffs because um, they're just amazing. And um, all the clothes that I've gone for are designed to have a sun protection, like a UPF of at least 40, most of 50. And the idea behind that is that I hate using sunscreen, it just annoys me. Like your pores get all blocked up and you feel greasy. So I'd rather wear clothes to block the sun rather than constantly be applying sunscreen. So that's what it is there. And it's all you really need because you tend to trek in your clothes one day wash them at the end of the day, wear something else, and the next day just swap them round. And you don't need to carry lots of clothes. My girlfriend's carrying a few more items of clothing, but that's because she wants more options, because she's pretty and she needs clothes. This here is my sleeping bag. Um, it's the same one I took two years ago, Bango Planet 50, absolutely amazing sleeping bag. It's got a natural inbuilt bug repellency, and the beauty of that is, um, when you're camping out, it means I'm not gonna get chomped to pieces by insects, but also, and it does happen very occasionally. You'll go to some of the albergs and they will have a bit of a bed bug um, problem going on there. And when I did camp in, well, sorry, I did sleep in one of the albergs that had bed bugs before, I was the only person who didn't get chomped on through the night. And I think that's purely because of the quality of the sleeping bag, whereas everyone else came out with a massive wealth. So, uh, yeah, that was a good call by that one. And lastly, oh, this is a beauty. This is the Big Agnes Scout UL. It's a two person tent, it only weighs from like 750 grams. It's about the lightest tent that you can get for two people. Like I say, use the trekking poles as ridge poles. Other thing I like about this tent as well is that it's actually big enough for two people to be comfortable inside instead of like feeling as though you're squashed in there. So when we do camp out a few times like we camp on the uh, way, it means that we'll be able to camp in comfort. Last thing that I forgot to mention is just this here. On the inside I have got a two litre water bladder. Now two litres is absolute overkill. For the Camino, like you easily get by with one litre. The reason I'm taking two is because um, I don't want my girlfriend to carry too much weight, so I'm carrying two litres so she can carry half a litre and I can just top her up and just because I'm a bit of a chivalrous bastard like that, really. So um, that's everything that I'm packing. I hope that was useful for you, and um, my girlfriend's gonna come up and show you what she's packing now as well. Hi guys, um, you've just seen Michael's video of what we're taking on Camino, and I'm just gonna show you what's in my bag. Um, as Michael told you before, we've got the hiking poles, which are going to be a big help for me because I've never done um, this far much travel before, so it's going to be a hellish manic for me. Um, but yeah, these clip onto my bag because Michael showed me earlier today. Really good support for me. I've got my umbrella, which Michael's jealous of because it's better than his. I'm not going to open it in the house because it's bad luck. But anyway, um, in my clips, basically I've got here insect repellent, travel wash, um, some hair serum because I'm a female, <laughs> earphones, my toothbrush and the lighter just in case we need to start any quick fires. Um, my main pocket I have here my journal so while we're doing the Camino I can write in little bits of my favourite places and special moments and stuff like that and keep it keep it written down there. Um, my, my makeup kit <laughs> <laughs> I've not discussed this with Michael yet, but this is my makeup kit that I'm taking. Every female needs to feel comfortable and because we're making so many amazing memories out now, I'll at least want a few photos of me looking half decent. 
So that is going with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I found these this morning, thankfully. I actually put them in the bin by accident, but my hiking socks. Now these are going to be a godsend while I'm out there because they're going to protect my feet in my hiking boots and make my feet not so gammy. Yeah, and blisters suck. Yes, blisters mega suck, but then they've got really good um, wool in them, so you'll probably worry. Um, my brother's shirt that I robbed off him, a very comfy shirt just to our evening to keep my arms from getting cold. And I have here my blow up air mattress. It's really light and soft, easy to pack away. Can go in my side pocket on my front, easy to pack away. Um, let's have a look. Now this is my toiletries. I have hairbrush, I have a mini hairspray, I have a few medications, I have a deodorant, I have a roll on, I have a few other lady products that girls need. Um, inhaler, a few bobbles and some bobby pins because a girl can never have too many bobbles or bobby pins. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have we got in here? This, I can get it out. This, believe it or not, is the clothes I'm taking for this trip, and that is one pair of trousers, a pair of underwear, a bra, a dress, a sarong, and a spare vest. That's all that's in here. So girls that go on holidays with 14 outfits, you're a very, very lucky girl. Because this is bare minimal for me. It's very hard to pack so lightly for a two-month trip. Okay, and last but not least is my Mango Planet. I think this is, yeah, it's a 50. It's really like compact and easy to outdo. Also, the pack that it comes in, 10 inside out, should be clothes in, and it's a pillow, so it's perfect. So, boom, yeah, I think my pack is officially empty. Oh, baby, how's that feel? You've done your first video. Yay! <laughs> Yay, us!